Yeah, Masisa, Buche, yeah. Este, yeah. Welcome to TJ, homie. <laughs> well, 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 hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Are you okay? We don't. No, there's nobody back there. There's nobody there's back absolutely back. no one. We did not <laughs> smuggle someone right. to Tijuana. Right. Welcome to Tijuana, guys. All right. Love you. Jorge Alvarez Tostado and Victor Delgado are behind one of LA's hottest taco spots, Tacos 1986. Jorge, who also goes by the nickname Joy, is particularly known for his outgoing personality and showmanship, becoming something of a celebrity taquero in a city that's known for its deep, profound love of tacos. Hola. How you doing? But instead of hanging out with the guys in LA, we thought it would be cool to head to where they grew up, Tijuana, just across the border in Mexico, and try some of their favorite places. So we went and we ate tacos. And more tacos. And more tacos. And also some tacos. All right, so what's the first place? What's the first place? Where, like, where are we? What's the first place? We're okay, going? the first place where I'm taking you, which is Tio Pepe Tacos Dorados, is a... Uh, and that's like it, a fried taco, right? It's a fried taco, the birria, and they also sell carnitas, all sorts of... I go there for the carnitas. Yeah. What, like, how did you get in the taco business? Like, how did that, how did that even start? When I moved to Los Angeles, I, I felt that there was a void, or there was, there, it wasn't really, uh, reachable, I guess, to where I lived. Yeah. This kind of food. This and, or any other kind of uh, food that I grew up eating. Like, this is stuff that we just grew up eating. This is like something you eat every day. Like, oh, Tio Pepe today. Oh, yeah, sure. You just go. Maybe I just didn't know the spots. Maybe I just didn't know you back then or whatever it was. But uh, that's what really made me, you know, made me want to. Bring, bring, yeah, bring this to Los Angeles. So, like, the food in Tijuana, what do you think makes it particularly special? The play in Sense of Urgency here is, you know, it's people, understood. It's understood. There's a sense of urgency. Exactly. And the system in tacos, especially here in Tijuana or Mexico, is designed to be quick, eat quick. Feed quick, feed quick, eat quick. Uh, it's a relationship. It's almost like a, like when you go to your barber. Some people have that with their barber, with their hair person. Yeah. You know, we kind of have that with the taquero. He's the guy you, you chat up with. No, oh, I just went to this party. It was whack. They had these tacos. These kids that had to come here because it was so bad. Like or a whatever. bartender. Exactly. Like a bartender. Like your therapist. Kind exactly. Of exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's yeah. that's. Part That's of it, yeah. yeah, it's essential to it. Your the experience. It sounds like you, yeah. And when you, the experience um, more than the food. And when you're out there, you're like you engage with people. You're perf you're kind of performing. Exactly. You're like you're interacting with people walking by. Yeah. It's like you're really trying to develop a relationship with the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and remember names. For me, it's always like remembering exactly eye contact. Right, you feel you. good, guys? You still hungry? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of places to go. Let's go. <laughs> Next place. Next place. Let's do it. I wanted to get a sense of what it was like for the guys growing up in Tijuana, so Joy and Victor took me to their childhood homes. The first place we went to was Joy's house in Chapultepec, where his dad still lives. <laughs> oh, got the taco <laughs> Lucas, yeah. nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Yeah. There's so many places you can eat tacos here and, and, and this is the international place to eat tacos you know here you'll, you'll find a, a lot of different uh, places sell the adobada but with a unique everything is different mm -hmm. you know everybody puts their own ingredient into it mm -hmm. special ingredient right special like ingredient. yourself yeah Dad, let me show, let me show, let me show the people of Los Angeles how we do it here, okay? Yeah, yeah. This is how you do it. It's very beautiful house, very Boom. beautiful view. Hey, there he goes. Boom. Number one pound for pound right there. <laughs> that's the U, the grass, the grass, where the grass is? It's the U.S. So that's the U.S. 
Ah. Oh, ow! That was hard! Beware. Beware of dog. Peligro. After we were done at Joy's house, Victor took us to his childhood home, which is in the nearby neighborhood of Lomas de Agua Caliente. This is where I grew up. Uh, when we first came to this house, you know, coming from the U.S., uh, it did feel like a like a big house, and it's definitely a bigger a bigger house. It's but a big, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a bigger big house, house, yeah. From what my dad was paying in the U.S. to live for a normal, you know, family home or whatever, we could afford a, a two times the, the size of a house. Right. You know? So you were saying that your your dad thought that you know sh live a much higher quality of life here as opposed yes. to in San Diego. Uh, yes. All right, well, let's go inside. Well, I can't. I don't own it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> let's ring the bell. Let's just, <laughs> let's just see who's there. Uh -oh. oh, there's a dog there. Oh. I already, I already got bit once, so I don't need to, that dog looks like it would do a little bit more. Okay, right now, we're gonna go to uh, probably one of my favorite taquerias. And uh, yeah, two minutes to feed me, so let's go check it out. Which one is it? What's the name of the oh. place? Joy. Okay, right now we're going to Taconazo. <laughs> Can I get a flex or anything there? Uh, we're going to the best taqueria in Tijuana, Taconazo. Taconazo. All right, Taconazo. Hey, taconazo, mijo, ahí nos vemos. This is basically what makes a uh, taqueria, you know, a legit, a complete taqueria. You must have all these com areas, the grill, the plancha, the steam world, the comfy world, and the vertical spit. All right, so go over with me again. You've got this big comal, you've got, and this is where things are cooked in fat. Yeah, this, this is, is the comfit. The, it's called a confitera. Confit, confitera, everything that's cooked in fat. It's usually tripe, suadero, which are the, the traditional northern ones. And in here specifically, you got buche. And the organs. Stuff yes, like that. exactly. Yeah. Tripe, more than anything, tripe. That's it, suadero and buche. That's beautiful. Oh my god, what's that? Yeah. Game day, which is stadium is right here. This is like the taqueria to go to. Slam. And it sucks because they took the rest of the taquerias, that, the ones that me and Victor grew up on, they kind of took them out of business. But the carne asada taco right. that I'm about to take you to now, the Ipodromo one, is the greatest carne asada taco of all time, if you ask me. Okay. And it's just down the street. I'm gonna take you guys so you enjoy and you know where the greatest eats. Eh? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just gonna stop thinking. About it. After we finished up at Taco Naso, Joy and Victor took me to two places close to their childhood homes, Tacos Hipodromo, and across the street, Tacos El Jockey. They have a little bit of a friendly competition going on as to who can make the best carne asada tacos in town. Joy seemingly had endless energy through this entire food call and actually wanted more food after we'd finished having tacos at Hipodromo and El Jockey. We decided to go down the street to a place called Tortas Washmobile, a sandwich shop that opened in the 1960s and got its name because it's adjacent to Tijuana's first car wash. And after that, it was time for our final stop on the taco crawl. And in my opinion, we saved the best for last. We went to Taqueria El Franc, which is known for its shockingly big, rotating spit of marinated adobada pork meat. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to witness greatness? Greatness right now at its best capability. Freshness, wonderful ingredients. Cebolla, cilantro, guacamole, salsa. Eso! Yo no jefe. Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much 
for bringing me here and for taking me around all these places. I feel like I learned a lot. I feel like I learned a lot about, you know, what inspires you guys to do your work in LA. So I just want to say thank you very much. Um, eternally no. grateful. We're to thankful this. to you guys and to you for allowing us to bring you down here. I definitely like, I think about taqueros and I think about taquerias in a totally new, uh, like, I'm perspective. Awesome. That's, that's you know chilling. I mean? You gave me the chills yeah. right yeah. now, man. Yeah. Like, I'm so. here and I'm looking at this and I just think of art, you know, and patience, dedication. There's so, there's so much more that goes into it that I think most people think about. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly. Anyways, guys, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. I really hope you enjoyed that episode of Off Menu. Uh, if you'd like to watch more, please click here and subscribe. And uh, please put in the comments if you thought my outfit was cute. And if not, what you'd like to see me wear in future episodes. Keep it clean, please. Thanks.